Hey, real estate investors and those of you thinking about investing in real estate, Dave Rowan here with another favorite topic of mine. We know real estate is wonderful. Lots of it is fun. Today, we're going to talk about uh, your rehab strategy and specifically within that, choosing the right architect to help you execute that strategy. So question one is, do you even need an architect? And if you are doing a cosmetic rehab, you know, new flooring, new windows, replacing some fixtures, you probably don't need an architect and just can forget this video. Um, but if you are doing more complicated things, such as moving or closing off doorways, thinking about or removing or shifting walls, uh, wanting to make an addition, these kinds of things absolutely uh, require an architect and um, it's your, in your best interest to get one. And then when you're getting your quotes, um, know exactly what you're getting. Uh, a lot of jobs that are low complexity, you'll just need the as-built drawings to show what's there. And then the final residential drawings to show what the plan will look like at the end. If you're doing more complicated things like moving or changing plumbing, adding electrical, um, moving existing walls, uh, you'll really need something like uh, not only those first two components, but also a set of MEPs or mechanical electrical plumbing drawings to show how all of that will get laid out. And then architects can really help you on the front end of a project. So they will help you get to know local inspectors and what's important to them. Arrange for a pre-inspection walkthrough, if that's appropriate, so you can talk about the building conceptually and gain agreement on what will be required. And then knowing the types of inspections that will be required. You know, common ones that require are common almost every time are electrical and plumbing, but you may also need to have your fire escape inspected or an insulation inspected inspection or a framing inspection. So Knowing the types of inspections is also important. Your building may be in a historical district, and so they'll know, your architect will know which parts of the city are in historical districts and which are not, and can give you guidance on what would be required if you are in one. An architect can save you money, both in terms of the um, construction costs and the ongoing costs of running your building. And they can also help increase your rents by laying out spaces your tenants will love, Insurance, insuring spaces are well lit, either by natural or artificial lighting, and knowing the features that are important to tenants. Finally, and this is a huge one, I've experienced this directly, um, you can stay away from some really costly mistakes and some really costly cost overruns by triggering um, certain kinds of work that's required by code. And so there's lots of rehabs that allow you to leave things as is, but sometimes when you choose to move internal walls, uh, break into walls, change the use of a building, you'll end up having to do things like sprinkler systems, bringing all electrical up to code, or installing fire rated materials between units or in common spaces. So again, sometimes that's not possible to avoid, but other times it is, you can get the things you wanna get done without triggering these huge um, extra expenses. And then finally, this is true of almost anybody you hire, but check references. So get two or three people who have used this architect and see if they have the kinds of things that we're talking about. Um, have they uh, helped you get inspections? Have they saved money on construction costs? Have they avoided uh, costly cost overruns by avoiding certain types of rehab? Do they have an open communication style and allow for back and forth uh, interactions? And do they meet their deadlines? So. That is it for choosing an, an architect for your project. And if you want to build income from your real estate investments, uh, subscribe, like, and share this YouTube channel. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.